I remember the first time I ever saw the Game Awards. Uh, I thought it was a really cool event that was really well done. And it was something that I began to look forward to every year where I wanted to see what was going to get nominated, um, who was going to win, what kind of announcements we were going to get, and what kind of special appearances we were going to have. And I feel like every year the Game Awards has gotten better, that they often have listened to the critiques and things that people have said that they didn't like and fixed it. And Jeff Keighley specifically, I think, has done a really great job. Uh, But on the internet, most people (laughs) don't feel that way. It feels like there is a lot of anger always surrounding the game awards and to be honest i don't i don't understand why um and every year it kind of comes up again where people are mad at the nominees or people are mad at just the game awards in general or people are mad at jeff Keeley. and i kind of wanted to address it and i wanted to specifically address why i enjoy the game awards and why i think the drama and the anger is honestly blown out of proportion and is honestly kind of silly So first off, the main reason I love the Game Awards is that it's a celebration of video games. That obviously you get all of these people together into a room and all of the fans together and you're able to have this giant celebration for video games every single year. That you get to look back on the year and celebrate the great games, performances, teams, creators um, that are kind of out there. And of course, I don't always agree with what's nominated or what wins because everybody has differing opinions or different genres they like. But overall, I always feel like the experience of watching it is kind of very communal, where you can feel everybody uh, in the gaming community sort of coming together and experiencing this thing um, and being able to just see a lot of the titles and things that have meant so much to us get recognition is really awesome. That it is the Oscars for people who care about video games. It's just like how people who really love movies get pumped for the Oscars. I get pumped for the Game Awards. That It feels like a night of the year where games are celebrated and all of the hard work that goes into this industry just gets the praise that it deserves because it often doesn't get it and so it's something that i personally really enjoy and it feels like there's a community and it just i don't know i think for video games in general i think it's a great experience and a great thing uh to promote what gaming is and even when i disagree with the nominees or i don't like who won I usually am like, yeah, it makes sense. Like, I can understand why that thing won. And even the voting system, too, where it feels like I even have a say and the fans have a say that I get to go in and cast my vote for what I think uh, should be nominated and should win. And that's always really great that I really do enjoy it. I enjoy the entire experience. And I just think it's a celebration for gaming. But then the second thing I really enjoy is the announcements that we get so many cool trailers or first looks or sneak peeks at things that it makes it worth tuning in not just to see who would win but to see maybe a trailer to a game that you've heard is rumored is coming and you finally get to see that first look or maybe you get a look at a tv show that you know has been in development based on a video game and you get a sneak peek at that or sometimes even like video game consoles get announced here and it's always exciting to be at the event virtually or physically if you're able to I just think overall they do a really great job of making the event that's something that's worth watching, that's something that's worth tuning in to, that they are able to stir up excitement that maybe um, in a day where we don't have an E3 anymore, things like that, that you're able to get an excitement for these things and get excited for gaming. That Not only are you able to celebrate the things before, but you're able to get excited with these announcements about the things to come. And I just think that that's really cool and it's something that is feeling like we're getting less and less in the gaming industry as we've moved from having these large events to moving into a more digital world and so for them to be able to preserve that kind of e3 feeling at the game awards is really cool and it's one of the reasons a lot of people tune in but then the last reason i enjoy the game awards and i'm not saying that people who don't don't feel this way uh but just to be honest it's that i love gaming um that to have an event that feels like is a gaming event that is really celebrating the industry is something i enjoy watching personally uh that we live in a world that still has a stigma around these games i think to have events like this um help produce people being more interested in the medium and as a fan i just enjoy 
watching it. I enjoy viewing it. I enjoy seeing the actors and creators of the games that I love popping up. I enjoy seeing all the commercials, all of the trailers, all of the sneak peeks. I enjoy seeing the rewards and when the game that you wanted to win wins uh, for a certain category, it's exciting. It's it's something that's a ton of fun and then you can endlessly debate how it got snubbed and should have been put in. I just enjoy it. That as someone who's a fan of these games, it's one of those events that I look forward to every year, that I tune into every year since I've seen it. And it's something that I think is just great for the community overall. But with that being said, I want to know what you guys think. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you enjoy the Game Awards? Why? Do you not enjoy it? Why? Uh, let's have a conversation down below. Uh, I always enjoy interacting with you guys in the comment section. And so hopefully I'll see you down there. Um, outside of that, like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. And we will see you guys in the next one.